everybody? Big GC Hog here with another video with some commentary on uh, specifically what I think about digital games and the uh, games as a service model. So as you can see here, I've got a bunch of stuff pinned on my uh, desktop here. I've got Epic Games, I've got Steam, I've got uh, Battle.net, I've got uh, Uplay. I also had the EA uh, access on there as well and uh, first let me get to what I think about digital downloads I know there's still people to this day that prefer to have a hard copy of their download or of their game they like to go and get it and be able to trade it in personally it's just more clutter for me uh, I don't care about trading in my games I've never really traded my games in my entire life even when I got physical copies and now I prefer to just be able to download them at the instant they're available and have access to them just whenever I want in one you know one area especially on PC so I'm a huge fan of digital games I don't know if I'll probably ever buy another physical copy of a game unless it's a game that I skipped a while back and I decided to go back and play which I've done several times with some of the Call of Duties. Uh, after Advanced Warfare I didn't play another Call of Duty until Black Ops 4 so I ended up going back and buying all of the ones that I had missed in the meantime and trying those all out and they were all still better than Modern Warfare 2019 but I digress. Uh, so, like I said, I like digital games. As you can see on Epic Games, you look through your library. I've bought very few of these. Uh, Borderlands 3 is one I bought, but for the most part, these are all free games that you get. So, that's another advantage to having these services. They'll uh, give you free games just for having it. Now, have I played them? No, but I have them if I want them. Steam is not really the same thing, but it is uh, it is digital games. And you got your library here. They don't really give you anything for free for the most part, but uh, it's my preferred uh, media medium. Uh, and the one I've been playing recently that I just subscribed to is Uplay. So everything is obviously digital. Now, the reason I say I like digital and let me get to the next point I like the uh, the the model of paying for the service of games as well now if you were to do like you would with your streaming services and but get all of these I think it'd be excessive because streams and movies are pretty short bites video games you play for hours and hours at a time so what I do is when there's a game that I haven't played and I want to play, I'll find what it's on and if there's a subscription service for that service, I will pay for it. For example, uh, recently I had never played the Mass Effect games and I really wanted to play them. So instead of just buying the Mass Effect games, I went and I subscribed to EA Access and I played them that way and when I was done, I unsubscribed. So now I got to enjoy those two games and I paid like $14 or whatever the price is, I'm not sure. And now the one that I currently have subscribed to is Uplay. Because with the new Assassin's Creed coming out, which I'll be covering once it comes out and uh, in the time heading up to it, I had never played a lot of Assassin's Creed. I'd played some of Origins and I stopped playing, uh, partially because my Xbox stopped working. Uh, I played Black Flag quite a bit, and the thing that kind of got me to stop playing that game is the naval combat I didn't really care for, and I felt very forced into it. But anyways, I wanted to play Assassin's Creed Odyssey with all the new fun uh, role-playing type stuff on there, and it has a little bit of a Witcher type feel, which is a game that I absolutely fell in love with. Anyways, I wanted to play it, so instead of going out and buying it, which would have been cheap enough probably at this point, I just subscribed to Uplay, and I can play it on here for until I beat it, and then if there's something else I want to play, I can go look at the other ones. 
So we got you pay play plus is the one that uh, the one that I got. So for example, uh, during the free uh, the free weekend, I played a good amount of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. If I decide I would like to continue finishing that and beat the campaign, I can play that. Assassin's Creed Origin, I actually own that game on Uplay uh, as part of a Humble Bundle, I believe. So if I want to play that. Then there's other games on here I can play. I've never played Rainbow Six Siege, which I've heard is pretty good. Um, Division 2, I played a little bit of that, but it's something I might get back into. Far Cry 5, never played that. It's one I'm interested in, especially with Far Cry 6 coming out. They also have the expansion. Never played Watch Dogs 2. Never played really any of these games. So for me, it's you know, probably a very worthwhile subscription for as long as I decide to subscribe to it. Obviously, if uh, Far Cry 6 is coming to it, as well as the new Assassin's Creed, I'll probably subscribe to it again. I think it's a nice model, so that even with new games coming out, you don't have to shell out 60 bucks a pop. You can play all of them that come out for $15 a month, and you can unsubscribe when you're done. And especially if you're going to be making content on YouTube, you're going to want to play a lot of the games. And if there's five games coming out at a time, you know, 300 bones is a good amount of money for people to be thrown down. So, in my opinion, I think that the games as a service model is actually pretty good. Uh, I think that, you know, there could be some great improvements in the future. And I think that we'll continue to see those as we move along. But that's all I had to share today with this video. I just wanted to get my thoughts out there on what I thought of games as a service and digital games. Both of them are a positive to me, even though I know a lot of people probably don't like either one. And I hope to see more improvements on in the future. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, whatever time it is for you. And I will see you in the next video.